Myanmar is a country currently undergoing economic growth. With the expected increase in the demand for power, the country faces a variety of problems. They include the deterioration of power facilities, blackouts over wide areas due to the shortage of facilities, electric shock accidents and power shortages. This prompted the Ministry of Electricity and Energy in Myanmar to launch a five-year project starting in 2016 to develop capacity for power transmission and distribution systems in collaboration with the Japan International Cooperation Agency, known as JICA. The project aims to strengthen all the capabilities of human resources and organizations through framework of human resource development and training programs to foster engineers and technicians. Participants aim to improve their technical skills for solving problems, learn about Japanese technology and training systems through programs in Japan, and taught their acquired skills and know-how to engineers in regional cities. It is hoped that these initiatives will lead to the economic growth of Myanmar by contributing to the reliability and efficiency of the power supply and the expansion of areas supplied with power. Instructor candidates who are expected to work as training instructors at the Ministry of Electricity and Energy in the future learn about designing, constructing and maintaining power facilities. They also attend lectures on safety and acquire on-site skills to try and find solutions to the problems faced by Myanmar in the power sector. The deployment of switches known as SOG circuit breakers is a part of these efforts. In conventional power distribution systems, a fault in one part of the system led to a blackout across the entire system. But the deployment of this switch allows power to flow up to the point where the fault occurred, preventing a blackout across the entire area. Demonstration experiments are currently underway to determine the extent to which blackouts can be mitigated. Moreover, instructor candidates were taken on tours of Japanese power companies, power facility construction companies, and power equipment manufacturers to deepen their understanding for actual equipment and methods of operating them. The candidates gained first-hand experience of the importance of safety measures. I felt that Japanese products and control systems can contribute to the boosting of power supply reliability in Myanmar. The Japanese training system is systematic and extensive, so I would love to deploy it in Myanmar too. The Ministry of Electricity and Energy put together a working group in an effort to establish a sustainable human resources development system. At the end of the training program for instructor candidates, the trainees themselves became instructors, giving seminars to teach the skills and knowledge they acquired over a total of eight months to technicians from regional cities. The materials used in their seminars were prepared by the candidates themselves, based on what they learned from JICA experts and during their training in Japan. They showed great confidence in explaining how to handle equipment while giving supervision on safety measures. They also showed no hesitation in answering the questions of regional engineers. The candidates simply listened to lectures at the start 
but they gradually grew more assertive, engaging actively in discussions and communicating with one another. The textbooks used in the lectures were prepared to allow the Ministry of Electricity and Energy to continue training people on their own even after the end of the project. Training facilities, simulating power distribution facilities, and other training equipment were also prepared for the project. In the future, the candidates who are now instructors recognized by the Ministry of Electricity and Energy will pass on their skills to younger electrical engineers in Myanmar. The Ministry of Electricity and Energy and JICA will continue cooperating in this project to develop the capacity of technologies in power transmission and distribution.